I'm wearing blue. <laughs> double dee double da. <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm just not feeling it. It's over 9,000! If we don't win this competition, she'll never accept me as her child. No, I just meant the music's not loud enough, which is why I got... BALLS! Yeah, the circuit breaker's right here. I'm sure we could just flip the switch and the power will come back on. No! Ah! Dude, it's locked! Where's the key? It's in the... No. No, dude, we can't go in there. We have to. But, but no one's been in the garage. Nine thousand years, man. It's either that or we can't practice for the dance competition. All right. Let's do this. This thing? I made this thing. Ah! Completed my first successful experiment down here in the garage. I spliced my genes with that of a lobster and created Lobster Hands Boy. He was a mild success, but after he was involved in a horrible petting zoo accident, I had to terminate him. Best lobster I ever had. <laughs> Anyway, the creators of South Park were kicking around the idea of making a real life South Park. So they contracted with me to make what I called Head Twice the Size of a Normal Boy's Head Boy. They scrapped the movie, claiming that people with abnormally large heads were just too weird. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see it. I think they're pretty cute. How do you know all this stuff? Bill Nye the Science Guy taught me everything I needed to know. And last... Emo and douchebaggery, emo and douchebaggery, emo and douchebaggery, emo and douchebaggery into the mix, and I made him into the abomination you see today. I don't know, I think his band's alright. <laughs> So you never told me what was up with that Jeffrey thing in there. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just a big fan of Lord of the Rings, so I just wanted to make my own Smeagol. Yeah, Smeagol, you know? I mean, it's pretty low maintenance, usually just food scraps. Right, so.